Elsewhere tonight, investigators in the northwest suburbs say Pokemon Go played a key role in a despicable crime. 39-year-old Mohammed Mahmoud now faces sexual assault and kidnapping charges. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross reports on what role the cell phone game played in his arrest. This place is very quiet. Schomburg's Vulcaning Lake isn't known for hosting crime scenes. People, kids, couples, you know, they just come here, relax. But after midnight on July 23rd, police say a 25 year old was sexually assaulted. Oh my gosh. A little bit shocking. A crime linked to a driver and a cell phone game. It just kind of opens your eye a little bit. Prosecutors say 39 year old cab driver Mohammed Mahmoud picked up a fare this past summer. Police say the victim had drinks in this Palatine bar and left in his cab. He then allegedly asked the woman if she played Pokemon Go. She did, and investigators say he drove her to this lake, claiming it was a preferred spot for gameplay, also known as a Pokestop. I noticed a lot of that activity going on with the Pokemon Go. But police say gaming activity eventually turned to criminal activity. Prosecutors accused the 39-year-old of sexually assaulting the woman in the back of his car before leaving her in the parking lot where she was able to call for help. It's hard to believe. It turns out help was not far away. And the police department is right here. Some serious allegations. Oh, yeah. Definitely surprising. I would not suspect something like that to happen here. Now, police say DNA collected in this case only recently matched a sample in a 2016 case that the 39-year-old was part of. He was ordered held on $2.5 million bail. Live in the newsroom, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. Rob. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.